Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us on another um, weekly edition of Condo Insider that is put on by Hawaii Council of Community Associations, also known as ACCA. So this week, my guest is Wanda Ane Onishi with um, the State of Hawaii, the State Health Insurance Assistance Program, also known as SHIP. Um, for some of you probably familiar with the commercials that are on TV, um, they do put um, a lot of um, uh, commercials on TV regarding SHIP, which is um, the Insurance Assistance Program. So with condos, um, you know, we're always trying to, you know, we have the big ma the maintenance fees that needs to be paid. So one of the thoughts of, of this is as um, seniors age and you're now on fixed incomes, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes as board members that, well, you know, we have people here on fixed income, we can't raise maintenance fees. So really this whole series is about other ways that um, individuals, seniors can help by, uh, by checking their, all their um, services that they get under Medicare or, or what are the other, um, other um, options that they have that, um, for services that they could probably get for free um, within the insurance that they already pay, um, pay for. So um, last time we did it on, um, on um, the SMP, and that had some money saving tips, especially for fraud and scams and things of that nature. So Wanda's gonna explain to us um, today about SHIP, um, the State Health Insurance Assistance Program. So Wanda, thank you for being with me on the show. So I hope we can uncover some um, opportunities for seniors to take advantage of some services that they are qualified under their programs, um, insurance programs that they don't have to pay out of pocket or other alternatives where they don't have to pay out of pocket so they can still keep money in their own pocket rather than it going out. Um, yes. So explain to us what SHIP is. So the State Health Insurance Assistance Program, Hawaii SHIP, we are a volunteer-based program that helps people understand Medicare. I mean, basically, that's what we do. We are part of the Department of Health Executive Office on Aging. We're federally funded, and we provide free services such as counseling assistance. Uh, we offer presentations, and you'll often see us at uh, health fairs where we can talk to you one-on-one -on -one about your Medicare questions, and we are um, free. We're unbiased. We're not affiliated with any of uh, insurance, health insurance plan. So we're not gonna steer you toward purchasing a certain plan. And we also don't sell insurance. We're just here to give you some information. Because so Medicare in up. general is just confusing. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> so let's pull up the first um, slide in the PowerPoint because I think everybody would um, recognize the logo because you know we see that on the TV commercials, right? So um, here we have the SHIP logo. Um, and it's tied to Medicare, the Medicare insurance. Um, so let's kind of like talk about the um, the items that you guys um, um, participate in and what exactly the insurance assistance program is all about and how is it funded? Um, because it's in every single state, right? Yes, it is. And in four territories, uh, District of Columbia, uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Guam and Puerto Rico. So the whole purpose is to um, really educate and empower our seniors. And then um, SHIP will also have, if, we call, if I called in and say, hey, I, you know, I need to understand how to do this or, or um, okay, so when I get to the point where I have to start getting into Medicare, signing up for, the, for that, when you reach that age, so I could actually call your office. Yes, you could. Um, but what we have is a helpline. It's not a call center. So you'll hear a recorded message. We'll ask you to leave your name, your contact information, your uh, zip code, uh, the best times to call you back, and the reason why you're calling. And we're going to assign a counselor to who has the most knowledge about your specific concern to just talk you through whatever questions you have. And then so you'll walk away with a better understanding of how your coverage, your Medicare coverage is working for you, how to best utilize your benefits. Okay, great. Let's pull up slide number two, uh, number three, because it has some great um, statistics on here. So, you know, look at that Medicare population. It's almost 300,000 in, um, in Hawaii. And, um, you know, they, 
SHIP does a lot of out, besides the commercials, they do a lot of outreach. Um, they've counseled um, or helped at least almost 3,000 um, um, Medicare um, recipients. Um, and I've seen them in fairs, um, little pop-up tents at different events. Um, but it's quite, um, it, it, it's quite a unique outreach service that really caters only to seniors. So we really want to explore um, and educate the seniors on the opportunities to take advantage of this service because it is for free, right? Yes. Okay. So someone calls in. So your services will include counseling and um, like on what kind of, um, what, what, what does a senior need to have in front of them in order to have a conversation with you? Well, our typical calls are, I'm aging into Medicare. I'm turning 65 in a couple of months. What do I do? Or I, during our open enrollment period, which happens every fall, people want to shop around for new plans. Maybe they're on a part, they have a part C with one um, provider, health insurance provider, and there may be better deals for them, better cost savings for them. We offer a plan comparison um, service where we would send a plan comparison form to the um, client who would fill it out with their prescriptions, the pharmacies they go to, what kind of plans they're interested in, whether it be a Part C, which is a Medicare Advantage, or Part D, which is a standalone prescription drug plan that's also Medicare, or a Medigap plan, which is Medicare Supplement Insurance. And our specialists will run the comparisons for them. Um, there are tools available from Medicare.gov to do this on their own for people who are very tech savvy and feel that they feel very comfortable just navigating the internet on their own. Medicare.gov offers a great plan finder tool, but we, our specialists will take whatever results are uh, posted after a person fills in all the questions and all the fields and hits um, submit. You usually get 20 plans. But what our specialists will do is they'll narrow those 20 plans down to three based on the information that was provided on the form. And they'll do the shopping comparisons. If a person wants dental vision hearing, which original Medicare doesn't offer, but a Medicare Advantage plan does, they can look into those benef extra benefits, compare cost and um, services that are available through that particular Medicare Advantage plan. So for some of you that aren't aware, at what age do you have to register for Medicare? So that's 65. There's an initial enrollment period, three months before the 65th birthday, the birth month, and three months after. Oh. And within that period, if they sign up for Medicare, they'll get coverage either by the birth month or if they sign up in the three months after. It's the month following when they sign up, and they'll avoid that late enrollment penalty, which is tacked on if somebody decides to feel they need Medicare when they're 68 and they didn't sign up in time. So those are the kinds of things that people need to look out for because nobody wants to pay more than they have to. So the initial enrollment period is for people who want Medicare or have to be on Medicare because they're employer requires it and they're going to retire. And in order to keep those retiree benefits, they need to have Medicare A and B, like people who work for the state or counties. And then um, they sign up, they avoid that late enrollment period penalty, and they will just have to pay what the premium is, which wow. is a monthly premium <laughs> for Part B, yeah. Okay, so you have to register enroll into Medicare three months prior to your 65th birthday month, right? Yeah, but you can still enroll in your birth month. You'll get coverage the following month, and then you have that three months after. So let's say my birth month is May, but I decide to enroll in June. My coverage will start in July. And what? And the penalties? There's like a hefty penalty, or what yeah. is that? For? Well, it, it adds up. So most people are eligible for premium free part A, which is the inpatient uh, services. And that's because they worked 40 quarters and paid into the social security taxes. And that's equivalent to 10 years. 
Part B, which is your outpatient services, your doctor visits, your lab tests, um, a lot of your um, vaccinations will fall under Part B. That has a monthly premium. This year is $164.90. Um, if you waited, let's say two years after you're, you turn 67, decide, okay, now I really want to get Medicare because my health costs are, are rising, then they would pay a 10% on whatever the premium, base premium is that year and for a 12 month period. So let's say they sign, they're 67 now, they're signing up this year, the, um, the premium is $165, just rounding it off. So it's $1,650 times two plus the $164.90 um, that they would pay monthly. And the more that they delay, that's another year that's added on of 10%, whatever the premium is wow. at that time. So even for a prescription, part, um, prescription drug plan, the Part D, if someone decides to stay on original Medicare, just take A and B, and then they're not taking any drugs when they turn 65, but at age 70, they have to take prescription drugs. Then there's a penalty for Part D. So we encourage people who are want to stay on original Medicare because their lifestyle, it, it's more beneficial to them. Let's say they're snowbirds, they spend part of the year in Hawaii part of the year in another state, they're able to see providers in either state, then original uh, Medicare would probably be the best for them. We encourage them, even if they're not taking prescription drugs at the time, to just sign up for a prescription drug plan because there are very low premiums in comparison to the um, Part B premium. Wow. Now, if somebody <laughs> decides to... Learn. to yeah, there's a lot. To, there's a lot, but fortunately, um, Hawaii Ship will will walk you through it. We have trained counselors that um, either they come from the healthcare background or insurance background, fully retired. They live in all of our counties. They're very familiar with the options there because a lot of them are on Medicare. So, if a person were to request a counseling appointment, then the, the counselor would give them a call and they'll just have a conversation. And often while they're just talking, other issues will arise like, oh, wait a minute, I, I need to ask you a question about this regarding Medicare. And the counselor, if they don't know the answer, they do the research and then they call back. Oh, well, that's great. And um, let's talk about your, your website because um, you have um, resources for different languages also. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you can see on the slide, we have from Chinese to Ilocano, Samoan, Vietnamese, and a lot of the uh, resources there are put out by either Social Security or the Center of, of Medicare and Medicaid Services. And we also have our own um, brochures and flyers that we have our volunteers translate into different languages to help our multilingual community understand what's um, available to them. So some of the volunteers might be um, um, proficient in, in a different language, so they'll, they'll be a, a, an awesome resource to communicate with yeah. some of these call-in clients. Mm -hmm. We have a few, but we're always trying to encourage other uh, people who speak different languages that are common in Hawaii to join our, our team and help your loved ones who speak the same language that you do that may not be English and understand Medicare so you can help, they can help them. So how is it how if is like, it? Um, I called in because um, like my mom is having an issue and I called in. So would there just be like a, a consent agreement that um, I could um, represent her in the conversation? Definitely. A lot of our clients are children of older adults who maybe in their stage of life, aren't able to voice their concerns. Some have dementia, you know, and it's the caregiver often is a family member who needs that extra help. And we provide what we can through their, the Medicare counseling. Okay, so we, you, um... So like for me, I would, I would gather all my, my, my parents, um, 
medical information or their card and coverages and all of that. And then we would sit down, have a conversation with SHIP and say, look, this is the meds that they take. This is their current coverage, um, which probably would be on their um, their card. Medicare yes, card. they would have a either. Well, the Medicare card will just say if they're on Part A and Part B. But then okay. if they have a Medicare Advantage plan through a private health insurance company like Kaiser, HMSA, United Healthcare, they those plans will send a card. So your your mom would have the red, white, and blue <laughs> Medicare card from Social Security. She'll have the Medicare Advantage card. Or if she was on just the original Medicare and had a prescription drug plan, then she'll probably have that card too. So there's a whole bunch of cards that people need to keep track of and keep safe because they're like you learn with from SMP, there are people who want to steal your Medicare number and charge a lot to our, toward our Medicare trust fund, which is right. how we keep this benefit going. Yeah, um, yeah, it was interesting to to learn how all they need is your date of birth and last four digits and they can go crazy. That was that was an eye opener. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me, like, give me an example or give us an example of, of um, like a case that you can remember how it had um, ha had some eye opening experiences for the client. Um, a recent case was there was a there is a health plan that offers extra benefits. This is a Medicare Advantage. So let me backtrack. So Medicare Advantage has to offer everything Part A inpatient and Part B outpatient offers, but the health uh, plan can offer additional ben benefits. It's not required, but they can, and it makes it a more attractive um, plan for people. Um, you can um, think of original Medicare as a la carte, where there's the A and the B. Maybe you'll get a Medicap gap. You should get a prescription drug plan Part D. But with a Medicare Advantage plan, it's like that entire meal all at once. You know what you're going to get for your soup, your entree, and your dessert. So you'll have your Part A, Part B. A lot of the plans offer vision, um, hearing, dental, as well as um, extra benefits, like, um, for instance, one was paying utility bills. Um, a recent client had trouble with getting the bills paid, and it, what, how we resolved it was to work with the plan, because we do have partners um, at the health plans, and they were able to address it, correct this person's situation, which had been going on for months, and they tried to resolve it themselves but decided, okay, why don't we give this Hawaii ship a ch uh, chance? We always see them on TV. And we were able to, just by working with the plan, to address this person's um, problems. And now the person, the client has had all of the utility bills uh, reimbursed for what he had to pay out of pocket, and they've made it a better benefit for this individual. So that's like the extreme. Um, a lot of times it's either um, people just losing their Medicaid because the COVID unwinding and they're getting a letter from MedQuest saying that they're not eligible anymore. So if someone um, gives us a call, we can talk to them about the marketplace health insurance uh, plans that they could be eligible for, um, talking to them about enrolling into Medicare, you know, just so that there's no gap in coverage. So. Um... So essentially, once you're once you're a senior, there's really should be um, there should be there's always an opportunity for some kind of health coverage. Yes. So, so Medicare is one, and then if they qualify for um, because their income is low and their assets are low, they could qualify for Medicaid, and then if their income and assets are just so slightly above that Medicaid threshold. There's also the Medicare Savings Program, which will help the pay uh, the co-payments, co-insurance, and premiums for Parts A and B. Or there's the extra help mm -hmm. plan from Social Security that will help pay prescription drug costs for people who qualify because their income and assets are are low. So that's another wow. way to save money. Yeah. 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 Wow. So essentially, there should be. 
essentially there should be no senior that um, has zero coverage. I mean, there's always a coverage available for, yeah. uh, for any senior um, versus, you know, your young adults, sometimes they're like a, in a little limbo status about having some kind of coverage when they um, are no longer covered under their parents and now they gotta figure out what they're gonna do with their coverage. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is really good information. Um, um, I'm learning <laughs> a lot. Yeah. And um, I think um, a lot of seniors should take the opportunity to reevaluate their um, Medicare needs and mm -hmm. um, give SHIP that call to see if there's other services that you're missing out on that you're eligible for at no cost to, you, to the senior. Um, I think that's one thing that's going to be very good and also give them the opportunity to do the, the legwork, the shopping, to make sure you're getting the maximum um, benefit allowed for, um, for, for yourself and um, also the cost, just the cost alone. And it's a free service, so it's not going to cost the senior anything to have their service, to have their plans reevaluated. Um, but that would be so awesome for any senior yeah. to take advantage of this free service. So just the two peer enrollment periods I want to highlight before we go is that initial enrollment period for people turning 65, that seven month um, window when they can enroll into uh, Medicare through Social Security. And then there's always that annual open enrollment that starts October 15th and runs through December 7th. And that's the time when you can um, shop around for new plans. Usually that is when a lot of people get the mailers from different health insurance plans because they're trying to, you know, show you what new features the plan offers and maybe this is a better plan for them. You know, give us a call, say, I'd like you to do a plan comparison if you're already on Medicare and we can pretty much run the numbers for you just with the information that you provide. Wow. Oh. So let's pull up the last slide that shows um, a lot of the contact information, um, also the website. So you have hawaiiship.org, which is a really easy website to remember, and your Oahu number, you have your toll-free numbers, um, but there's always help available. Um, and because of the way it's a strictly volunteer, so you may not get a live person to answer the phone, you just leave a voicemail and um, you'll get a return phone call. Um, but one of the key things to remember is make sure you got to kind of get some of the paperwork in order so that um, when they ask questions, you're, you're able to respond um, and um, hopefully get everything covered. But, the, you know, the SHIP organization, the volunteers need to get information from the senior or from their caregiver so that they can fully um, maximize um, the services that um, SHIP does. Um, Awesome. How long has SHIP been in Hawaii? Uh, a little over 30 years. Uh, the Executive Office on Aging, where we're located, got the first SHIP grant in 1992. They built the program. It was called Sage Plus at the time. And then right around the 2010s, we rebranded and now we're called Hawaii SHIP. And we're just trying to build our, make Hawaii SHIP a household world. Because you could see from the numbers that we shared, you have close to 300,000 Medicare beneficiaries in 2022, but we only service 3,000. Yeah. So there's so many more people not aware that of what we do that need the help. And through our marketing efforts and through Think Tech, which I'm so grateful that you're giving this up, us this opportunity to share what we do, that more people will learn about Hawaii SHIP and what they, we can do for them. And if I remember right, the aging population is um, is projected to grow within the next, I think, 10 years. It grew just from the time we took those stats at the end of the year till now. We're over 300,000 Medicare beneficiaries in Hawaii alone. Wow. Wow. I think it was like of a course, third of the population. Our, uh, right. Pardon me? I think it was like a, it's projected to be like a third of the population very soon. Yeah. If I remember right. Yeah, with all this of us baby, baby boomers, you know, aging into Medicare, it's only going to grow and grow. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, Wanda. We're kind of nearing the end of our, our time. So I really want to thank you for this opportunity to be on our show. 
and really explain what SHIP is all about. I mean, I, I see the commercials on TV, um, but for everybody um, um, listening and watching the show, um, the service is a valuable service. It's for free. We got to maximize what we can for free um, and just don't let them do the hard work. Let them do the investigation because it can be complex and can be confusing. So at least we have people that are that, that they themselves are volunteers, but that's what they do. So they know the ins and outs, you know, um, and I think I think that ship is going to be awesome. It's just for I mean, I'm reaching that age. So I'm like, OK, I got to get on this bandwagon here. <laughs> you know how to call. Yeah, so I'll be bumping into you guys pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> so again, thank you, Wanda, for this opportunity and um, look forward to more happenings with SHIP. Great. I'm so grateful for um, you giving us this opportunity as well. Okay, thank you. Great. Have a good week, rest of your week. And you weekend. too. Thank you, Aloha. Wanda. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please click the like and subscribe button on YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Check out our website, thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.